everyone. I'm going to give you this quick word here. A few years ago, uh, the Lord spoke to me, actually, right before Kim Clement passed, okay? Prophet Kim Clement. And he said, I'm going to release what I'm calling double portion prophets, right? Double portion prophets. Now, once again, that terminology is used a lot today. I want to be careful with it myself, but I believe I heard the Lord on this. I believe that he's looking to release a double portion uh, of even what previous, a previous generation of prophets, okay, that who were a part of establishing the modern day prophetic movement. I believe the Lord is looking to release a whole new generation, even millennials and Zoomers, those that are coming up, and I believe he's uh, looking to release a double portion of what prophets like Kim Clement and Bob Jones and Paul Kane uh, walked in in the prior generation, right? That's the nature of God. He wants to keep increasing the increase of his kingdom, government, and peace. There shall be no end. Amen? But when the Lord gave me this word, okay, he told me that these prophets, these double portion prophets that were going to emerge, he said they're going to be just as strong of Nabi prophets as they are seers. Now, what does that mean? In the Bible, there's primarily two uh, types of prophets that are mentioned, okay, in the Bible, in the Old Testament. There's what's called the Hebrew word Nabi prophets. Nabi prophets prophesy by the inspiration of God. Nathan would be an example of this. The Holy Ghost came upon him and he began to to prophesy by the inspiration of the Lord, right? But there's also seer prophets. Samuel was a seer prophet. He was called Samuel the seer. You remember the story of when Saul, King Saul, uh, before he was king, came to Samuel the seer, offered a gift and said, you know, I need some revelation. Where are my donkeys, right? So there were seers and there were nobbies. But many times in the Bible, they were stronger with one or the other, right? And even today, you know, we saw prophets like Kim Clement, who I believe was a seer, but he prophesied the strongest, I believe, and the most accurate whenever he was behind the keyboard and he was speaking by the inspiration of the Lord, you know, as the anointing and the music flowed, right? But then you had prophets like Bob Jones, who was a very, very strong seer prophet, right? And it was rare for him to get up and, and really, he wasn't seen as more of a Nabi prophet, you know, maybe like a Bill Hammond. Bill Hammond's a Nabi prophet. He speaks, you know, a lot prophetically by inspiration, but Bob was more of a seer. He prophesied out of what he was seeing in the realm of the spirit through visions, dreams, trances, that sort of thing, right? But what I believe the Lord told me was that this new class of prophet that would emerge, okay, and I believe they're emerging this year, 2020, okay? This new class of prophet would be just as strong of nobbies as they are of seers. That at times you wouldn't even be able to tell what their strength really was. And that's an amazing thing. When, when a company of people come on the scene and they're so strong in the prophetic, it's hard to tell what they're weaker in as far as these different functions of the office of the prophet. That's an amazing thing. And I believe that's what the Lord's releasing this year. It was an encouragement to me. Um, you know, I found out after the fact, of course, um, that Paul Cain, Bob Jones and John Paul Jackson, all three of these prophets were buried. They went into the ground, okay, on 2-22, right, on February uh, 22nd. This year, um, we had a, a, a very powerful Bob Jones word fulfilled when the Kansas City Chiefs won the Super Bowl. Okay, I believe it was what's called a palindrome, right, if I'm saying that right. It was on 2-2-2020, two, uh, two, right? It's a very, very rare date, actually. The last time it happened was in, a, in, in uh, on the 11th, uh, November 11th. Uh, the year 1111, and it will happen until 3330 uh, 30 again, right? So it hasn't happened for more than 900 years. A very uh, amazing date. And then the Super Bowl was won by the Kansas City Chiefs. Bob Jones prophesied it, and he prophesied this would be a mark of the apostolic chiefs arising, and that revival would be on the horizon. Revival would be upon us when the Chiefs won the Super Bowl. It was Andy Reid, the coach of the Kansas City Chiefs, his second Super Bowl win, and his 222nd career win. Okay, what is this all saying? I believe these are signs. God speaks not only through, you know, just the word of the Lord, but he speaks through signs. He speaks uh, uh, through wonders. He speaks through these different things. Um, but, you know, these three prophets, John Paul Jackson, Bob Jones, Paul Cain, they all went into the ground on February 22nd, okay, 2.22. And I believe it's that scripture in the Gospels where it says, unless the seed dies and goes into the ground, it remains alone. But if it dies and goes into the ground, it will come forth as a multiplied harvest. I believe right now the Lord's saying, 
that he's received many of these mantles of these prophets who were forerunners in this prophetic movement, but now he's looking to release a double portion of what they walked on a new company of prophets that the Lord is raising up. So believe it, believe for an increase in the grace of God that's on your life. It's not just a class of prophets, but in the New Testament, the Lord wants to pour out his prophetic spirit on the whole church, on every one of his sons and daughters, right? That's the promise in Acts 2 and in Joel 2. He'll pour out his spirit on all flesh. So understand what I'm saying. I'm not saying this is just for office gift prophet guys or girls, right? But this is for the church, the spirit of God being poured out on all flesh, sons and daughters prophesying, young men seeing visions, old men dreaming dreams, a release of the prophetic. But let's believe for an increase, even in the grace gift upon your life that you're currently operating in right now in the prophetic. Believe for an increase this year, the year of double portion uh, prophets emerging 2020. God bless you. Hey, my name is Stephen Powell, and I want to thank you for watching this video on my YouTube channel. Go ahead and click the button right here, and you can subscribe to our channel so you get new videos as they come available. And also, you can go ahead and watch another video right now if you click this button over here. God bless you.